Hey, welcome back, everybody. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. I'm just going to assume that this camera has the controls in frame, right? It's got a really wide angle lens, but I don't know what's, uh, what the GoPro is seeing until I play the video back. So hopefully it's in a good spot. And I do apologize. I'm feeling a little under the weather today. Feeling a little crappy, buzzed my hair, did all that fun stuff. But what we're doing is we are going to use the uh, Airfoil Labs B350 because it's a really good plane to use for this because all the uh, levers and everything, I could use them all. There are a couple of things you might be wondering about with this plane. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> with this throttle quadrant, uh, these are full right there, full range. And then when you go into reverse like that, this right here isn't an axis. If you can, if you see the levers in the plane when I bring it down, I got it set to just go full reverse because the way these work, the way all of them work actually, they all have them, is when this is past that point, it acts like a held button, like you're holding a key down. And it's it's bound separately from the uh, from from the uh, which from the rest of the uh, axis basically. Oh, the go around works. The go around button works. Um, also, these things. All you have to ah. Apparently, uh, the the battery's on or something in this plane. Uh, these two knobs don't have to be bound in the sim. The plug-in that you install, it's an installer, you tell it where your X-Plane uh, file is. It's the drivers for these, for the software. It creates a plug-in in, in X-Plane and they have one for Prepare 3D and Microsoft as well, to where it just, it just works. See? I'm turning my, uh, gonna go, we're gonna go up to 10,000 probably today. Come on. Yeah, the, the thing is, the faster you spin it, the quicker it updates. So it's on alt right now. You turn it down. It, you click this, vertical speed, heading, course, and IAS, indicated airspeed, right? I have these two switches set to pitot heat. These aren't bound. So let's see. Is there a before start? Before start. Yes. Okay. I just want to uh, go through the motions of uh, firing this up with the levers. Okay, we're before start, so God, it's been a while. B -b -b Auto ignition. Oh my God, it's been so long since I started this plane from cold and dark. Let's see if she fires up. Okay, 13. Bring it up halfway, see if she lights. Yes, she did. Turn 
turbine torque or ITT. We're looking for ITT. light. Okay, let's just go before takeoff. There we go. Yeah, it's like, yeah, full reverse. Okay, where are we gonna go? Let's actually go somewhere. Flight plan. No, clear, no. Yes. To yeah, we're in Owatonna right now. To um, eh, let's fly out. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a fast plane. Let's fly out to uh. Damn it! Out to Oshkosh just for the shit of it, since I didn't do that this year. It'd be nice to have HHJKLMNOPQR. It would be nice to have uh, controls to do this, so I didn't have to use the mouse. But that's getting expense crazy. So enter, enter, back up. Uh, or is it direct to Kosh? Activate. Okay. Start to take the brake off. Jesus. God, this. God, this plane likes to just. This plane just likes to take off like a like crazy, right? I could fix that by going low idle. There we go. That helps. It's a uh, stock clear weather, so um, the barrel, standard barrel, should be close enough to correct. Yeah, it's about 1,200, and that's about what the altitude of the airport is. Okay. Got an anti-ice warrant because it's on, probably. Okay. One notch. Flaps. Watch that prop. Torque. Okay. 
Major indicates up. Trim wheel working? Yes. Flaps indicates up. Come on, come on, we're gaining speeds. Ah, could use the electric trim. Okay. Let's turn left. Yeah, this feels great. So far, this is nice. Oh, yeah, it feels nice. I got it trimmed out good, although it's, or a little, nah, it's a little much. Turn, turn past it to intercept. There we go. Yeah, that feet. Oops, there goes my phone. Let's see if I can trim this out. Take my feet off the rudders. Okay, there we go. We're climbing. And okay. Autopilot. Nav. Vertical speed. I don't see the vertical speed um, value on, on the dash, so I'm guessing I want to climb it about a thousand. Yep, there we go. Also, I know people say to set up multiple, you know, control fit configurations for this, but what I'm going to do is. Excuse me. This is bound throttle one, throttle two, prop one, prop two, mixture one, mixture two, right? Like, let's say I'm going to fly the 172. I'll just pull all the levers off, except for this one and this one. Who care? Who gives a shit if the mixture is way over here, right? <laughs> they don't have to be next to each other, you know, so... I'm not going to move it over here and start a whole new profile. I'm just going to keep this profile. But I'll have to set a... Si uh, oh, there it goes. Got a thousand foot to go, and let's see if the alt light lights up automatically when we hit ten thousand feet. But yeah, it's too big of a pain to set up all these all these profiles in order to. Uh... Ah. Here you just keep switching that around. The uh, you can't probably can't see it, but this light works. My flaps are upright. Um, that thing where you go full reverse, I might have to try setting that to uh, toggle reverse. That way, hopefully, when you go down, you can bring it back up and go into reverse and then go back all the way down again and shut it off, right? I'm probably going to have to set it up like that because flying things like the Porter, you can't, I, I can't be having it, you know, <laughs> going to full reverse uh, to try to dive down, so... I'm probably going to change that. I'm probably going to change the binding for the reversers. But right now, that's just how they're set up. So.
the rudder right now. There's our runway. Light slope properly. Yeah. Okay, don't judge my landing too much. Five hundred feet to minimums. Why is, the, why is the plane doing this? <laughs> I need to trim it back more. Jesus Christ. And I bounced. That was a horrible landing. God, that was a horrible landing. <laughs> 40 knots. I don't know why I started getting floaty. I've never land I haven't landed this plane with this with this yet. I don't I don't have a lot of uh bring that down to half. Which you don't do it with most turbo props, just these freaking keen airs. <sighs> oh, wasn't looking where I was going. And I just pull up behind this, uh, whatever this is, beats C-17 or something. Switches do anything. Okay. Boop, 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 boop.
Where we go? And uh, where is it? And boom! Shut down. There we go. There, now it's pro properly shut down. There we are. That was a really, really hairy landing. <laughs> well, there, there's a, uh, the, um, it in all its glory. I'm going to be doing some testing here uh, in a bit, but that was it. Uh, in case anybody was wondering, I think I covered pretty much you know, what happens if I, now it's off, so and it knows it's off. Okay. The sim talks back to the lights. Right, and uh, but th these control the um, <coughs> plane. Um, here's the little rubber things that go over. They're, they're nice for when you're not using that. They come in these uh, fancy boxes, and here's the um, stuff for the jets. Right, now well, that's right here. Got, you know, stick that on there. And then it's got this for the, I don't know if you can see this, for the uh, reverse, toggle reverse. If you look, there's pins in there. These, um, that's how the to-go-around button works. Although this lever comes off, I'm not sure if you can just pull, little, there's a magnet there. They're really nice for storage. Um, I don't know if uh, you can pull them off, put them back on with the sim running, if, if that'll screw with it at all or not. But there we go. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask in the comments. And I need to get used to flying with a uh, with an actual yoke. <laughs> but this gave so much more control. Oh, I wish this the trim wheel It's a little sound there right I'm not sure what that is I wish the trim wheel um, was a little more sensitive there we go that feels more but she works yeah I like it a lot it's really nice the finish everything it's gonna make this a whole lot more fun until then I'll see you guys on the next one and uh, fly dangerously out there